Welcome to the January 2023 edition of the Okta Release Highlights. We will go over generally available features, GA enhancements, and early access new features. Let's get started. Here are some of the generally available new features released this month. Improvements to the self-service registration experience. Earlier versions of the self-service registration flow used a complicated array of templates to send activation emails to end users. The simplified self-service registration flow reduces the process to only two email templates with customized welcome messages. Okta uses the registration activation template in cases where the application requires immediate verification of the end user's email address. This template also includes a magic link for a smoother sign-in experience. Okta uses the registration, email verification template if email verification isn't immediately required to sign in to the application. This template includes a link for end users to complete email verification at any time after they successfully sign in to the application. This feature is currently enabled by default for new orgs only. Revoke user sessions. Administrators can end all Okta sessions for an end user when resetting their password. This option protects the user account from unauthorized access. If policy allows, Octasourced end users can choose to sign themselves out of all other devices when performing self-service password reset or when resetting their passwords in settings. This feature is now enabled by default for all orgs. Directory Debugger for Okta AD and LDAP Agents Admins can now enable the Directory Debugger to provide Okta support with access to Okta AD and LDAP Agent diagnostic data. Accelerates issue resolution by eliminating delays collecting data and improves communication between orgs and Okta. This feature is being re-released. Non-associated Radius Agents Deprecated Access for radius agents that have not been associated with an application has now been disabled. Unusual telephony requests blocked by machine learning measures. SMS and voice requests are now blocked, if an internal machine learning-based toll fraud and abuse detection model considers the requests unusual. Telephony requests that are blocked by the machine learning model have a deny status in the system log. Let's now take a look at the GA enhancements released this month. New System Log Events New events have been added to the system log when custom sign-in or error pages are deleted or reset. Policy details added to sign-on events. The system log now displays policy details for user authentication auth via MFA events. View last update for app integrations and AD slash LDAP directories. Administrators can view the date an application integration was last updated. Using the Applications menu, click Applications and select the integration. Administrators can also view the date an AD or LDAP directory integration was last updated. Using the Directory menu, click Directory Integrations and select the integration. The update information will appear at the bottom of the page. AWS Region Support for Event Bridge Log Streaming Event Bridge Log Streaming now supports all commercial AWS regions. Internet Explorer 11 no longer supported. A new banner has been added on the end user dashboard to notify Internet Explorer 11 users that the browser is no longer supported. Users will have to use supported internet browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. Corrected Time Zone on API Tokens page The date and time on the API Tokens page used an incorrect time zone. Tokens now use the same time zone as the user's device. MFA Report Column Selection In the MFA Enrollment by User Report, you can now choose which columns to hide or show in the data table. Let's finish up with some early access features released this month. Enhanced Admin Console Search The Admin Console Search now displays your search results in a user-friendly drop-down list. The list provides the following filters, so you can quickly and easily find what you're looking for. Top Results People Apps Groups
Optional Consent Settings for OAuth 2.0 Scopes OAuth 2.0 Optional Consent provides an optional setting that enables a user to opt in or out of an app's requested OAuth scopes. When optional is set to true, the user can skip consent for that scope. Thank you for viewing the January Okta release highlights. For details, please visit the Okta release notes and product notes using the links found in the description.